Hello, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Today's show is brought to you by Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness. Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness offers indoor aqua size classes that provide a great environment for people who might have mobility or joint issues or who would just like to have a great, fun, different fitness routine. Check out Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness online or on Facebook. Our guest today is Jim Peckham. He's with us from Fish here in Carson City, friends in service helping. Welcome, Jim. Well, thank you. I'm glad to be back. Fish is kind of an institution in Carson City. You guys have been here providing a really great community service for many years now. Tell us a little bit about what's going on right now at Fish. Yeah, actually we're celebrating our 40th year. So we've been here 40 years um, and um, I just had a, a big group of people that I talked to and they all thought we were a thrift store. And, <laughs> and the reality is that's just one of the ways that we fund Fish. You know, I, I use the acronym that we provide food, instruction, shelter, and healthcare. Uh, to help people in need, and we provide a hand up as opposed to a handout. So, um, you know, we're, we are busier than we ought to be given how good the economy is, uh, because most people, if they want a job, they've got a job, and so we've got people that just have skill set deficits and, and behavioral deficits that we're working with to try and help them to be more self-sufficient. And uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but uh, we're up to it. One of the things you mentioned is the thrift store. That's one of the ways that you fund the services that Fish provides. And there's the thrift store here in Carson City that I think is the one people are most familiar with. But there's also one up in Mount House and another one down in Minden. Gardnerville. Minden, Minden, actually, no. Yeah. Um, but another way that you guys fund your services is this really fun upcoming event, the Have a Heart Celebration. Yes. That is a chance for people to come and, and celebrate Fish and get some really great food. Tell us about it. Yeah. We call it a celebrity waiter event, and it's kind of a, almost a misnomer. We certainly have celebrities, uh, but it's a buffet now, so there's not very much waiting going on. But uh, it's a great way to, to interact and, and see a, a number of different people from industry and government, uh, uh, a couple other nonprofits. We've got some television stations, radio stations, celebrities, and, and others that uh, will be, be helping. And, and the waiters compete for tips. And so the highest tips, the three waiters with the highest tips get special awards and, and the people that decorate their table and have everybody kind of uh, come with a, you know, a matching fashion, uh, they get some, some awards too. And again, all the tips and things are really just donations to fish. So uh, we do this, uh, this is I think our sixth year of doing this. We do one up in Carson, one down in Douglas County. And uh, we've gotten to the point where we need to do two seatings uh, for both of them because it's gotten so big. And um, three big goals. One is they learn a little bit more about fish, that we're more than a thrift store. Um, the second thing is for us to make a little bit of money. But the third thing is for people to leave and go, that was fun. I want to do that again next year. And how can I be a waiter? And uh, so right now we're kind of looking for people to nominate waiters. And, and we see if we can't uh, get them to be on our staff and uh, at least temporarily so that uh, we can have a fun evening. June 1st at June 1st. Fandango, ah. Fandango Ballroom. So it's the new ballroom that's kind of over by where the escalator is, the only escalator in Carson City. And uh, anyway, we, we'll have a great time. That ballroom is a great new venue. It's only been open for not even six months yet. Yeah. Um, and this is a new location for you guys. Right, right. Yeah, we've done it at uh, Glen Eagles for years. And uh, we just really outgrew Glen Eagles. Last year we had three seatings, uh, one at Fandango and two at Glen Eagles. And this year, we think we can get um, everybody into the two seatings, uh, one at five o'clock, one at seven o'clock. And uh, people can go online, nvfish.com, uh, stop by the office and uh, happy to help them. But by all means, we're looking for nominees for, uh, for waiters. If people want to nominate a waiter, they should email you? They should. All right. Jim at nvfish.com. People who want to just get tickets also check out the website. That's yep. where they're available. They're $65. All of that money is straight to fish to help right. provide services to people in need in our community. Right. And 93 cents out of every dollar donated goes to services. So we're pretty frugal with our money. And 98% of our budget comes from the local community. All the money stays in the community, but we still have one small government grant um, that comes from the federal government so we can pay the state government um, for some of the, the uh, shelters that we rent. But um, 
we just finished up the the overflow winter shelters and we were helping a lot of people from freezing to death throughout the the winter um, and we are seeing a surge of, of people coming into town with with needs um, a lot of people i think transitioning from from california um, telling us that they started in san francisco and it got just a little rough there and and they've been coming this direction so we're uh, working our magic providing a hand up and those that are willing to to put a little effort in uh, have great success Let's talk about some of the other services that you guys provide because I do think it's important to let people know everything that you're doing. So first off, the dining room yep. at Fish. You serve hot meals every, every day. day. Yep, <laughs> every day. Uh, except for Thanksgiving when we do it at the Nugget and we serve about a thousand meals that day. But yeah, we average probably um, 80, 85 people a night uh, from little kids to, to 90 year old you know, uh, seniors to make sure they get a, a healthy meal. Um, We've got three food banks, uh, one in you know Lyon, one in, in uh, Douglas, and one in, the one there in Carson, and uh, and just the one medical clinic where we provide free medicine, free medical care to people in need, usually for chronic illness. And then um, right now we're looking at um, a whole new project where we're working with the Circles Initiative and WNC and Northern Nevada Development Authority uh, to try and take people who've already proven that they can work, and they've got minimum wage jobs, nine to $10 an hour. Um, and we're gonna help them to be able to get some schooling and be able to come out earning 18 to $24 an hour um, uh, with the skill sets. And, and again, we can teach them a whole lot of things of what they need to do, but until they get an increased paycheck, it doesn't really matter. So if you envision you know, a mother of, single mother of two kids, uh, being able to support her so that she can take some college courses and, and have a career instead of a job, um, and, you know, be much more self-sufficient and, and uh, be able to, to live the life that we all wanted to live. So we're excited about doing that. Just cost and money. I just wanted to point out, you mentioned in there the Circles Initiative uh -huh. um, and some other partners. Circles was on our show uh, a few months ago. But um, you guys don't work alone. You have great partnerships throughout the community for helping people to, to help themselves move up in our community, increase their incomes, find good housing. Um, and I, I just wanted to point out what a great cooperative organization yeah. you guys are as far as working with. Yeah, we don't want to do all things. We collaborate. It's like, you know, if somebody's got a domestic violence issue, we send them off to advocates. Uh, the Veterans Resource Center helps us a lot with veterans um, and, and, you know, vice versa. We help advocates, uh, you know, with people for housing after that they're done with the training there. Uh, we help with food, um, you know, we do dental services, we're giving away hot water heaters, um, all kinds of things to try and bridge the gaps when people are in a bind because pretty much all of us have needed a hand up from time to time and, and, uh, and we're there. Absolutely. So I just want to remind people one more time, June 1st is the Have a Heart Celebration. It's taking place at the new ballroom at the Casino Fandango. Tickets online at nvfish.com. They're $65. Buy a ticket, stop by the thrift store, buy some great stuff. <laughs> yes, something to wear. That's right. We're upcycling now, right? You go there and you can, can create things, whether it be outfits, different things for the house. Um, Upcycle is the, the new phraseology, I guess, now is uh, as opposed to upcycle, recycle, repurpose. Yeah. And all, uh, all kinds of goodies. Uh, you never know what you're going to find yeah, at the, the thrift store. Thrift store generates about 25% of our income. And uh, the fundraiser is probably another 10 or 15%. So it, uh, it all goes to a great cause. All right. Jim, thanks for being here with us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thanks to all of you for joining us for this week's edition of It's Your City. Today's show was brought to you by Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness. Check them out for their aquatics classes and also a wide variety of aesthetic services, Paradise Salon Spa and Wellness right here in Carson City. If your business would like to sponsor a future edition of It's Your City, please contact Darla at the address shown on your screen. I'm your host, Courtney Bloomer. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.